Okay, my friends, we're gonna learn how to make these little cocoa bombs. And we're gonna use the Dixie cup. So here I just have regular Dixie cup. Um, I'm using a salted caramel uh, candy wafers and an almond bark. I got this at Walmart and I got this at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just gonna put them in the microwave and melt them. Do it like 30 seconds at a time. You don't want to get them too hot. Okay, so now we have both of these melted and you don't have to do two different kinds. I just thought it would be fun to do this. All right, so I'm gonna take my cup and I'm gonna put just a little bit, kind of just sprinkle it around inside. Okay, and then I'm gonna put two or so spoonfuls into the cup. Then you're going to take it and you're just going to bring it all the way to the edge and just bring it all the way around. You want to make sure that it touches that top and if it comes out, that's fine. Okay, so you've got that totally covered, coated inside. Then you're going to hold it upside down for just a second. And then I take my finger, wipe off all the way around, and set it directly onto my foil. And you want to have something that's flat. All right, here you can kind of see what I did, and you can use these over and over. But I just cut off the bottom using a scissor. I started here, cut off all the way around so that you've got your rim. And you're going to put this, the rim side down, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Take a little bit of each one, kind of put it in there. You don't need as much in here, you don't want to have it too thick. Okay, then I just kind of come up on top here so you can see. You want to make sure that it goes all the way to the edge so that it covers everything. And now, we're going to set it into the refrigerator. I'm just going to set it right up in here for probably five minutes or so. Okay, so it's been in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. And it looks like it's not quite set, so I'm going to put it back in for a minute. Okay, we'll try this again. All right, so you can see it's kind of got a little bit of um, chocolate along this edge. You can just either snap that off or leave it and it'll just come off as you tear it off. So I look for something a little bit to the right of the seam and just snip. And start to peel. Now sometimes, and I think this is going to be one of those times, let me grab a knife. It's hard to get this lower part off, so if you very carefully, you don't want to push too hard, just to get this started for it to let loose. You want to be pretty gentle with it. And then should let loose. And there you have your cup. And you can see it's not totally even on top and I'll show you what we do with that when we do the um, to melt it. Okay so we've got our cup in here then pull this off and we have our top that's going to go on it. And if you've got a little bit along the edge, just take a, a knife and just very gently take off that extra edge. Okay. Okay, now I have, I don't have a flat top stove here, so I'm just gonna turn, I put foil in my pan, turn it on for just a couple of seconds, turn it off. And then you can see I'm going to just gently lay it on the pan, just 
kind of move it around until it's totally flat. Okay? Pause. Pause. Go. Okay, now we have our little disc. And we're gonna do flat side down. And I melted a few white um, candy melts to use for our glue for our marshmallows. So you just kind of start up on top. Dipping them in the white and just sticking them onto the top. There's no set pattern, however you like. And one thing I forgot to do was to get a straw. Let me grab a straw. Okay. So we're just going to take a piece of straw and we're going to dip it into our chocolate and kind of arrange it like it would be coming out the top of your drink. And then finish off marshmallows, kind of holding it in place. Okay. And next, we're going to take the chocolate that we had left, and we're going to, we're probably going to have to heat it up a little bit again. All right. So here I've got some of the salted caramel and the chocolate together. And I'm going to take my Ziploc bag, fold it down, and I'm going to put that down into a cup with it facing towards that one point. Pour that in. Get it down into that point. And you only want to take a tiny, tiny bit off. Okay. Then we're going to get our sprinkles ready to put on. And then you're going to just drizzle. Take some of our sprinkles and decorate the top. Okay, and you're going to want to move this while the chocolate is still. Whoa! All right, well, I didn't wait long enough for that straw to, to harden in there. But if you leave it set in there, it's going to make the air, it's going to make it hard to pick up. Okay, we're going to let that sit for a minute. Okay. Now I have my hot cocoa mix. It was a Swiss Miss cocoa mix, but it was in a big container. This is what I have left. So I'm going to take a scoop and I'm going to put it inside my cup. Then I'm going to take a few more marshmallows, put those down inside. Then I have my topper that has gotten hard, and I'm going to take my drizzle. You're not showing what I'm doing, you're just... You're not supposed to talk to me. And I'm just going to put a ring of it all the way as close to the edge as I can. Okay, and I'm gonna take my cup, I'm going to set it on top, and that's going to seal everything inside. Then I'm going to take my candy melt that I had done before and stuck a sprinkle on there. Give it a little bit of chocolate on the back and stick it on front. And there you have it. Easy, fun, delicious. <laughs>